Ladies and gentlemen, this episode is brought to you by King Dick Tools. You know you're the confidence you have with a King Dick in your hands. Have I ever told you too that you kind of remind me of Brokeback Mountain? I, I've never been to the place. Yeah, right. You have to. Are you sure? <laughs> I don't know where this mountain is. Never been through the back door, Mouse? He's speechless, Grease Monkey. He's speechless. <laughs> Uh, that's what I'm paying attention to. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, hang on a minute. We're going to have to look at his Google history later today. Uh, I've been in the back door of my house. Okay, enough said, Mouse. Well, boys, that's a good-looking uh, sugar beet harvester you got there, Mouse. It's on lease. I don't actually own it. Oh. oh. Um, I put a field of my own. Heard you had uh, quite a few. So I thought I'll come down. It's going dark. Um, I'll come down and give you a bit of a hand. Uh, Grease Monkey, you got one up there on the other field, huh? Yes, sir. Mine's uh, over there on the other field. You guys are good men. How did your bicycle ride go last night? I don't remember much of it. What you about a bicycle you ride? <laughs> yeah, actually, you did go for a bicycle ride, and you stole somebody's uh, diesel barrel. Uh, we didn't, I didn't steal nothing. I don't like the word steal. Borrowed? Don't want Acquired. Acquired. Oh, acquired. Acquired. Oh. The diesel barrel. Which is in my garage. What's your garage? No, it's not. Is it enough? Don't tell him where it's at. Oh. You guys didn't leave stolen property on my property, did you? Were you just going you... to punch me? No. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't like this word stolen. Oh, so that's why you're going to hit me. No. You're a violent man. Oh, I just put I just put my knickers straight. Oh, I got you. Mouse, you're awfully quiet today. He told me not to speak anymore. Oh, I wasn't being... Oh. Literally. Okay, All so. right. All right. So, um, yeah, uh, you did... I, I remember, I remember Greece, we brought some diesel for him. He didn't want it. Yes, we did. And he sure didn't want it. Why you? Do Mouse, you're shaking your head at me. <laughs> Why did you not want any free diesel? I, it was my combine, my harvester was full. I think he lost his sleeves for his vest somewhere. Yeah. What happened to your, yeah. You got your Batman thermal long underwear on? I have, yeah. Yeah. But I'm still cold. Does the heater work in your sugar beet harvester? Uh, it, it, it's not working. Uh-oh. Have you got heaters in yours? Yeah, I'm nice, nice and toasty. I, I had to turn the air conditioning on earlier. Oh, hey. Here. Here's some matches you can set yourself on fire. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Hey, well, I, I might not have found it. I'll have to have a look. It's the button right there on the side. You can't oh, right. you get inside there. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. That'll make it a little bit comfier. So, you guys gonna, we're, we're gonna do some sugar beets? I got I got a lot of sugar beets to do, so um, take your pick. Yeah, I'm just gonna crack on on this down here. Okay. Meet up with this, this color over there. Yeah, Sophie's um, Sophie's up on the other end. Oh, there's Sophie over there. I gotta go empty Sophie. Pardon? I'm gonna head back up this way in, and go in, to my... Yeah, you don't, you don't empty Sophie, Mouse. <laughs> All right. Grease Monkey? 
Yes, sir. There is something seriously wrong with that guy. Yes, there is. But I think he'll be okay sooner I, or later. I get him, get him a little heat. He'll be okay. I feel like go I, empty, Sophie. You're I feel, gonna get in trouble. Yeah, okay. See you, buddy. Thanks a lot for your help. I had some deep heat, and uh, don't scratch your balls when you put that on. Oh, I'm warm now. Good day, my farming friends. How the heck are you? Good to see you. Welcome back to the island across the pond. Ebony Island it is. There is Sophie. There is Mouse. And there is Oily Primate, a.k.a. Grease Monkey. I tell you what, these fine um, individuals have recovered from their uh, drunken bicycle tour and have come down to help me with the sugar beet fields that I bought stupidly. So, we are down here. There's seven of them all together. There's three on this side, four on that side. And as you can see, we have been pretty busy as of, um, well, this evening, I should say. Uh, November 1st. It's kind of going right along. That one I did. Grease Monkey's up there doing that one. And then you notice I cut all the hedges out. So all the hedges in between these four fields are all cut out. So eventually this will be combined into one field. The council told me I have to leave this field, this this hedge in. So I'm going to leave this hedge in and these three fields will be combined into one field. So eventually the seven fields will become two fields. What I'm going to plant in here, I have no idea, my friends. But I am very thankful for the uh, wonderful assistance of the uh, rodent and the primate. It um, kind of sounds like a band, doesn't it? It kind of sounds like a band. Uh, the rodent and the primate. Yeah. Yeah. Who needs, like, um, I don't know. Who needs... Uh, what what's, what's the two guys sings? Uh, what, who, Simon and Garfunkel, yeah. Who need, you don't need Simon and Garfunkel when you've got uh, the rodents and the primate. But they have recovered from their late night bicycles fuel thing escapade. So they're in pretty good shape. Uh, they have been busy on their farm altogether. Mouse, matter of fact, um, has been experimenting with different kinds of rollers. Yeah. So we had this brilliant idea that he was going to plant his field and then roll it and kill it. So... I, I think he's planted the field like four or five times now. I don't know. You, you have to ask him. But, uh, yeah. So he's been busy getting that done. Grease Monkey's been doing some logging, and he's got to wait to plant corn. I still think he has some corn to harvest. I'm not quite sure. And myself, you're getting the sugar beets done. So I, it has been a busy day between cutting the hedges down and uh, doing a lot of sugar beet harvest. Now you're going to wonder, why am I? See, there, my hazard light's on again. I think they come on all by themselves. I did a thing, um, that side dump that I bought yesterday is just, it's too clunky, it's too big, it, it doesn't quite go real well, it doesn't hold a lot, so I sold the end dump trailer, and I bought this little fancy trailer down at an um, auction that was happening this morning. So I got the Zeal and this trailer as my sugar beet um, loading apparatus, transportation vehicle thingy, I have no, oh, most, I think like mouse is full. So I'm gonna go unload mouse. Grease Monkey has his um, harvester up here along with his zeal and he got the same trailer too. So him and I kind of match real good. Mouse doesn't have a truck. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna handle uh, mouse and Sophie. That'll be a full-time job. I'm telling you, that'll be a full-time job. And I'm taking all this up to the sugar beet meal, the sugar meal. So far, according to what my stats say, I have got 426,269 liters of sugar beet in the, in the uh, sugar, beet, sugar factory. So holy crap, that's a lot of sugar. That is a lot of sugar. So we're doing pretty well there. So hopefully we can make some money when we produce our sugar beets into sugar and we can sell the sugar. So, and they've got to pay the sugar meal, you know, their percentage, whatever. Mouse, are you, are you okay? Are you all right? Uh, I wonder if you want something. How's it going, buddy? All right, thank you. How are you? I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. I was just telling the fine folks on the vlog here about your um, your experimenting with uh, rollers today. How'd that go for you? Not, not very well. I think I think the roller is in the wrong category. Oh, okay. How many times? I'm, you did a lot of planting then in the last couple of days. Yeah, yeah. I've done one field twice. Okay. Well, two fields actually, because they're in one. Them down south, what I've got, they're uh, done them twice. Okay. 
and uh, I went up north. Okay. The four fields that are together, and I've done that three times. Three times you've planted the same field, huh? Yeah, you'd think the modder would would um, sort his mod out, wouldn't you? Really? You would. You would. You'd think that. You know, it does what it says on the tin. Right. I like how you. I like how when you talk, you use your hands as, as gestures. You really, you really put some energy into what you have to say. Yeah, there, there. Well, uh, big feeling, oh. big feeling. But I've got to do my field three times. You know. Yeah, I feel bad. I feel bad for you. Could have. You could have asked me. I would have came and helped you. You've got enough of me. I what? You've got enough of oh. land gravel. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Is she trying to mount me there? Mount you? Yeah, you just came upon me. Well, I was giving you a hug. Oh. Here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to keep you warm, man. Thank you. Well, I've got the heater going oh. in here. I'm glad to hear it. Which is better than winter. Uh, deep heat. Have fun. See you later. Alrighty, well, I just got loaded. I think I have a little bit of room in my trailer here, but between that, we'll head down to the sugar mill, and we will unload the zeal and the fancy trailer here. But, oh, man, this is working out pretty good. If I had to do this all by myself, me, just Sophie and I, oh, we'd, we'd be here till Christmas time. But November 1st, and uh, time is just flying by. Time is flying by. And if you look at the forecast coming up here on the island, we have got snow forecasted for the 3rd of November. Well, three days, you know, three day season. So it'd be like the, you know, whatever you want to say. So the end part of November, all of December and all of January, there is snow forecasted for the island. So this should be interesting. This should be interesting. The good thing is, oh, look at that. This wackadoodle, this rodent rack wackadoodle, um, I can't figure out if uh, he is Beavis or if Grease Monkey is Beavis and which one's Butthead. But he's got so much money. He uh, not only owns the island up there, but he also bought this little farm here from a uh, fella and is uh, starting to develop this farm. He's got equipment in here. I'm telling you, he's he's, he's a map hog. He, he really is a map hog. He's trying to take over the whole... He owns his own island, for crying out loud, then he wants to take over this island. Just doesn't seem fair. It just does not seem fair, but... That's okay. I'm not going to complain. Oh. Come on, Zeal. What's going on here? I think I lost my volume. Oh, there it came back. Holy crap. Turn on the lights. Something was going on there. Kind of funky. So, but that's okay. I'm glad. I'm glad he's being successful. I'm glad things are working out for the man. I, I, really, I really am. I really am. People walking. It's kind of cold outside, too, and they're walking in shorts. Eh, weirdos. Weirdos, I'm telling you. So I'm going to drop this off. I'm going to get back. I don't know how much more we're going to do tonight yet. Uh, probably maybe Mouse and I will finish up. Mouse and Sophie will finish up the field they're on now. Grease Monkey will probably finish the one he's up. He's on now, and then we'll probably um, call her good for a night. I'll, I'll even take him out to the pub. I'll even take him down to the pub. I'll buy him a pint and some, and some fish and chips. Or something, uh, maybe even some. Um, what do they call that stuff they eat? Uh, uh, black, black liver pie, black, 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 black lungs. I, I, there's something like I can't, I can't remember. Black pudding? Is it black pudding? Is that what I'm thinking of? Black pudding? Um, I don't know for sure, but holy cow! I can't believe how many sugar beets I put in here already. We're almost to a half a million liters at the Glenwood Sugar Mill. Man, we're gonna work it. I'm hoping this pays off. This is a lot of work, a lot of time, and a lot of energy spent in this uh, sugar beet harvest. But you know, think about it. What did I spend on all seven of those fields? Like one point, one point two, one point three million. I can't remember. So, hopefully, hopefully, that uh, it'll be productive for us and we'll make some money back. Now, I'm not, I'm not too worried at the moment. We still have the loan. We still have the outstanding loan, but. I mean, I still have lots of forest land. So if this winter, when it starts to snow, and I really can't do anything, if the wood chip prices go up, if there's a great demand for wood chips to burn, I am going to probably do some more loads of wood chips. I think I'm going to go out the other way of my farm. I'm going to go north of my farm, out the other direction, 
and uh, take some trees out there that I can develop that too for, for future use. So I got plenty of options. There is a farm for sale in the southern part of the island here, but I'm thinking, you know, instead of having two locations, I got plenty of space to develop um, the farm that we're at now and expand that. But I don't think the idea of purchasing another farm is, is right in line with what, what I'm trying to do. So we'll just stick with it. But in the meantime, we're probably going to do, we're going to do some more sugar beet harvest. We're just going to keep going back and forth. And uh, we'll see how it goes the rest of this uh, late afternoon into the evening here. And we'll probably catch up with you tomorrow morning. And we'll see where we're at. But uh, thanks for stopping in today. I sincerely appreciate it, my friends. I hope you're having a great weekend. I think I think we see this will be the weekend. Hope the week went well for you having a great weekend. But um, in other words, we'll see you in the morning. Cheers. November is quickly moving on, my friends. There goes Sophie. Sophie, the sugar beet harvesting queen, is going up and down on the last field that we have out of the seven. It is later in November. Holy crap, it's just after bacon sandwich time. But 12.57 in the afternoon. I tell you what, Grease Monkey and Mouse, I, I'm going to feel guilty from now on if I make fun of them, if I tease them, if I pull some tricks on them. I really am. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to feel guilty now because those two men, we'll call them men, little boys, they have helped out tremendously. Look at that. So on the other side of that hedge, there is the four fields. That is going to be combined into one. And as you can see, they've all been harvested and they've all been mulched. I bought a mulcher, I think like 25,000 bucks for this mulcher, which Mouse is going to um, make fun of me of because he thinks it's a stupid mulcher. But then, you know what, you ask him, next time you see that guy, you ask him how many uh, balers Bale size, round, square, and equipment did he use to uh, bale one grass field? You asked him how that goes, and he makes fun of my mulcher. So, on that side of the hedge, all four fields are harvested, and they are mulched. On this side, we have three fields. The one over there, this one, and that one there. As you can see, the uh, far two, the north and the south one, have been harvested and mulched. We're just finishing up the sugar beets on this last field. Holy crap. I better, um, I better go empty here. Oh! Oh, no, wait, I wait until she turns around again. Never mind. So, that is a lot of sugar beets. We had three of these little harvesters in here, and we've been going going to town. Here's my mulcher. I got this field to mulch after we finish it. But as soon as I unload Sophie here, I will go through the details of how much sugar beets we have harvested and where they're at and where we stand. But, oh, man, it has been a process. Where are you going, Sophie? Come back, lady. Um, you can, oh, oh, you can still go back farther. You got plenty of room. Oh, oh, look at her go. She just gets right on the ball there. Oh, no, I should have... Oh, I forgot. It's the other side. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm a terrible farmer. Well, I hope she can make it all the way down there without filling up. Because I'm going to be on the um, other side. Sorry, Sophie. Sorry, my dear. Well, we can wait until she turns around. Anyways, let's take a look at this. Watch. Look at this stuff. We have got... Um, in the silo at the sugar mill, we have got 431,976 liters in storage there. Because in the mill, I you know what? This changed all of a sudden. Because I could have sworn this was only a 1 milliliter capacity, the sugar mill. But it says that it's a 1.9 million liter capacity. And I have got 1.3 million. I got 1,331,117 liters of sugar beets in the factory. So that's a lot of darn sugar beets. So basically, right now, I've got almost 1.8 million liters of sugar beets harvested from these seven fields, plus whatever we're going to get here from the end here. So it's a lot of sugar beets. It's been a lot of work, but I guarantee you, Mouse and Grease Monkey have just, um, uh, you know, even when Sophie and I went to take a break, get something to eat, they just they just kept chugging away. They did. Uh, it's, it's been it's been outstanding. I, I, can't, I can't thank them enough, and without them, I would uh, still probably be on the second or third field. So, plus, they even they, they went and got their own mulchers, and they started mulching the fields that they harvested. So, um, it's, it's absolutely wonderful. It's a beautiful thing, my friends. It's a beautiful thing. So, Sophie and I are going to finish up this last little bit of sugar beets here. We'll get it all down to the mill. I guess I could put all these sugar beets now into the mill. I was thinking... I could have swore the other day when I looked at that industry, it said the capacity has been reached. So then we had to put the sugar beets into storage. But now it says 1.9. I don't know what the what the dealio is there or what's changed. But 
Anyways, we're gonna go with it. So we are producing a bunch of sugar. We have got a lot of sugar to go through that sugar mill. So hopefully we'll make some money on the um, granulated sugar that comes out of the sugar making process and we will end up making some money out of it. But in the meantime, Sophie and I are gonna finish this up. We don't have too far to go. We just got uh, this little chunk here out of this middle field and then um, then we'll get it mulched. And then I gotta go back, get the plow hooked up and I gotta start plowing up these grass strips. What I think I'm gonna do is, to be honest with you, I think I'm gonna plow up the grass strips and then I'm going to get the lime spreader and I'm going to lime spread. Well, maybe maybe I should take a gander here. Do the same thing I did with the other fields. Let's just uh, look at the Jacinta Bee growing calendar, or the, the uh, crop soil composition calendar. So it does need to be limed. So everything is going to have to be limed. Does it need to be... So there is no fertilizing state in any of it, okay? And it needs to be plowed, and it, be, it all needs to be plowed. It's a root crop, so I'm assuming that was the case. So... We'll plow up the grass strips, then we'll lime it, then we'll plow up everything. Well, actually, we could lime it, and then fertilize it, plow it, and then we'll leave it. Because I don't think we're going to plant anything in here. I, I don't think that, um, oh, I want to go here. You know, planting, so basically we have today and tomorrow to plant all that stuff. Cotton, we're not growing cotton. In grass so basically I'm gonna have to wait until March of next year to plant anything in these two fields well it's, the seven is gonna become two so yeah so I'm not too worried about that we do have you know we do have our um, our one field here let's just go back to the growth there uh, yeah we have our one field here which is all barley how does that look in the soil composition thing yeah Oh, weeds. Oh, we got some weeds growing in there? Fertilized? Okay, we got one stage of fertilizer. We got some weeds in there. So, I don't know if we got to worry about that now this fall. I could I could go in there. I don't, you know, they're going to die off when it gets cold here. So, I don't know what the point of that is. But, let us uh, let me and Sophie finish up. And then we're going to get that harvester back to the farm. She's going to jump in the mulcher. We'll get this field mulched real quick. I don't know how much more we'll go today. Maybe we'll just take the rest of the day off. I don't know. But um, we'll get it done and see how many sugar beets we have and get down to the mill. And then uh, probably we can uh, wrap things up. Sounds good to me. But uh, yeah, we'll see you after a little while. My friends the day has progressed holy buckets it's getting a little bit into the evening hours here in the middle of november uh we have made some huge progress i am in the uh, kubota right now with the plow and we are plowing. we are plowing we got all the sugar beets harvested we got all the fields limed we've got the grass strips uh, taken care of we've Plowed most well here. I'll go out and show you show you what we've been doing here. Whoa, holy buckets Holy buckets. I'm getting a little crazy there. Whoops. Nope. 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 Put it back up. Put it back up right now I am on the west side of the hedge. So there's the hedge right there that separates the two fields so We got everything all lined the grass strips are all plowed up and then we even lime the grass strips So I am on this side and I'm kind I have to do it uh, 
you uh, figure out why you have to do it. When uh, Sophie comes out and Sophie is working it, it'll only plow the field. It won't go through the grass strips. So I got it separated into two sections here. So basically the up there was two fields. They're all combined. Right here was two fields. And they're all combined. And then the three fields over there are combined into one. So I will have to plow that down the road. So what I'm thinking of is I went down to the dealership and I added some wings onto my plow. So I've got a couple more shanks, which is a pretty good thing because now I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit whiter. So it's actually working out pretty good. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to plow away. Sophie's taking the rest of the night off. Uh, she worked hard today. She uh, drove sugar beet harvester. She uh, came in. She did some liming for me. Oh, I'm telling you what. She's exhausted. She's probably back. Crack opened uh, two or three bottles of wine, and uh, we'll be passed out when I get back. I don't know how late I'm going to be here tonight. I'm not going to get everything plowed. I was hoping that I could get these two plowed. I can get this one and that one plowed, and that'll be pretty good. And then, to, well, next time, we, next time, next day, the next two weeks, uh, at the end of November, we would hopefully be able to get the fertilizer spreader out here and we'll spread some fertilizer on these two fields and we should be good to go for the spring. In the springtime, all we'll have to do is run the cultivator over it and plant and we'll be, we'll be pretty good to go. So I'm pretty excited about that. The other thing is, uh, we've got some, well, we'll see next time, we'll have uh, a bunch of sugar at the sugar mill that we can sell as well as planks up at the sawmill we can get all that wrapped up and get all those sold and we can uh, be done with the contract at the sawmill so the only thing i was concerned about is the forecast um oops that's not what i want that's not what i want either well, there's a forecast so next time the end of november oh 15 degrees celsius 25 oh crap a low of 15 degrees celsius a high of 25 degrees celsius that's not too bad that's that's a freaking heat wave man then we get in December. Look at this. December, snow, snow, snow. January, snow, snow, snow. I, I, I think it's going to be a white Christmas. I really do. Uh, eight below, six below, five below, ten below. So we might see some snow in the coming days. Now, what I'm thinking about doing is because basically our farming is over for the year. Once we get these two fields done, we're done farming. Uh, I'm not going to buy any more land. I'm not going to get some new, some new crops to go harvest. Uh, I'm thinking about focusing on the farm building over the winter. Yeah, we're going to do some farm building over the winter. So in other words, we need money. Yep, $300,000 still in debt. We got $197,000 in the bank. We will have sugar income, and we will have planks income. So we have those two incomes coming in. We could also get the uh, wood chipper hooked up, and we could go to the north side of the farm, and we could clear some of those trees out for future developments. I'm kind of thinking that's kind of the way to go. But we got lots to do. So next time I see you, We'll probably have these two fields plowed, and we'll have them fertilized and ready to go. So then we'll make a game plan from there next time. But it's been a long one, I think. I don't know. We'll have to find out here. But anyways, thanks for stopping today. I sincerely appreciate it. Give Grease Monkey and Mouse some love. Oh, they are wonderful, wonderful people. And um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you've had a good weekend. Hope you have a great week. Stay safe. Stay healthy, my friends. And above all, keep them between the ditches. So long.